I've got a former Suicidal Tendencies member and a Red Hot Chili Peppers now in Nasty Habits, John Nelson, a returning yeah. guest. All right on. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, now I'm deaf, but that's okay. It's very metal. <laughs> you should put your ear next to my Marshall like I do. All right, so tell me what you're doing these days, John, because you were last on the show about a year and a half ago. As so little as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Just get right to the point. Now, what has Nasty Habits been doing? All of a sudden, out of all the chaos, the album comes out. Uh, the thing that really pushed it through was the publishing deal that I signed with Sage Publishing. Well, what we're doing right now is writing for the next album. You actually uh, have a clip that we're going to play, yeah. Devil's Playground. I gotta show you my new tattoo. Oh! Okay. Yeah, my, my, my buddy Caveman did this. What number is this? Uh, How many? The, of that I have? Yeah. Three. Oh. I got my daughter's names on my chest. Aww. Let's get back to business here. Where can people buy your music? Or I, listen to your music? Oh, well, you can listen to it on uh, MySpace. That's, a, that's our main page. And then uh, YouTube, which is Dieter Dietz, which is our record label. I have like 100 favorites of like Lenny Bruce and the Monkees and Black Flag and, and me with Suicidal and stuff like that. You know? Somewhere around January 15th, it'll, be, it'll you know hit iTunes. But right now, you can get it at Amoeba in Hollywood. Um, go Amoeba. And uh, CD Baby, of course. Now you've been around this business for quite a long time, and you've accumulated a vast array of uh, different generations of fans. Tell mm. us how old your oldest fan is. 85. And who would that be? Dick Ramsdale. I don't know. He's, he's, he's been 85 for a while. Let's go all the way to the other end of the spectrum. Your youngest fan is seven months old. My little Bella button, Christina Bella Lucky, and she's... Uh, Oh, she's precious. Talk about your um, your charity efforts because you're very passionate about giving back. When you focus on the charities first, everything else falls into place. Mm -hmm. My passion is Silver Lake Conservatory of Music, which my brother Flea, you know, headed up when he went to his high school and you know to help out or see what he can contribute. Uh, he realized that they had just wiped it away altogether. Mm -hmm. So he got together with a business partner and started this conservatory and it's booming. It's like School of Rock, I guess, but you know, more curriculum. Right. Now when you mentioned Flea, you're talking about Flea from your old band, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I understand that you and Flea are like bros. You called him your brother. So there's actually a website out there, still psycho, huh? Till, still psycho, yeah. hello. <laughs> still psycho dot, dot wordpress dot com. And uh, there's some fans in a one part of the world that are particularly psycho about suicidal tendencies. So tell us a little bit about and this nasty site. Nasty habits too, uh, in Portugal. And they are just so into it and they just have no idea what it's like most of them you know to like what must it be like in venice and so i did an interview for them and he they they are so dedicated to the whole suicidal legacy because mm -hmm. it's like you know the godfather family in venice what is coming up next for john nelson <laughs> nasty habits what have you who knows i don't know i mean just make loud music and make it good i mean my only passion is i don't care what happens to the music after i make it i just make the music i try to make music as great as i can i can't sit still and live any place for any length of time, you know, I just bop around anyway. So, uh, we, you know, we'll let people know what we're doing. Like I said, we're writing for the next album because we're always just moving forward with stuff. And then it's like, oh, yeah, we need to put the album out. For news about uh, updates about when uh, Nasty Habits will perform, where should they visit? Which website? On MySpace. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> Metal, do the metal sign. Yeah. I'd like to thank John Nelson of Nasty Habits for coming on today. 2.1 million viewers can catch his show every first and third Friday of the month. And Time Warner's On Demand offers the TV show free to around 5 million viewers.